Congressman Ron Paul is calling for an audit of the U.S. gold reserves, he told Kitco News exclusively in an interview on Tuesday. Though he says the bill does not have a name yet, he is planning to unveil it at the start of the new U.S. Congress. I think it's a possibility, and if, uh, if uh, there was no question, you'd think they'd be very anxious to prove to us that the gold is there. This is not the first time the congressman has made his pitch. But in the early 1980s, under the, in the Gold Commission that uh, I was a member, I asked them to recommend to the Congress that they uh, audit uh, the gold reserves. And we had 17 members of the commission, and 15 voted not to audit the gold reserves, and two of us voted for it. They just didn't think it was necessary. But uh, you'd think that uh, there, it's, I think there's only been one decent audit 50 years ago. Though he did not say whether there is any truth to claims that there is no gold in Fort Knox or the New York Federal Reserve, he said that it is probably true. Well, I think it's basic if we ever get around to deciding that we should uh, use the gold in, in, in relationship to our currency, we ought to know how much is there. And uh, like we talked a little bit about, uh, you know, manipulation of gold prices and other central banks have sold their gold and uh, announced it. Sometimes they loan their gold. We, our, our Federal Reserve and Treasury admits to nothing, so they should prove to us that all the gold is there, and then we would find out. But uh, there's a reason to be suspicious. But even if you weren't suspicious, why wouldn't you have an audit of this? The gold audit follows his crusade last year, looking to audit the Federal Reserve, which he says is the chief culprit behind the economic crisis. I don't think the Federal Reserve should exist. The fact that it exists and will stay in existence for a while longer, it would be best for Congress to exert their responsibility, and that is find out what they're doing. It's an ominous amount of power they have to create money out of thin air and be in the reserve currency of the world and be able to uh, finance uh, you know, the runaway spending, whether it's for welfare or warfare. On the topic of gold price manipulation, Congressman Paul said that it is also probably true. I'm not the one to lay out the proof of this. Others have done a lot of investigation. And one reason why I don't dwell on that is I take it as, as a fact, something that uh, they're not going to listen to us. But I think it's very important. Somebody talks about it and emphasizes this just as a warning. Be careful because the markets, you can't, you not only have to anticipate the markets, but you have to anticipate, uh, you know, what the government is, is doing. They don't want their cover blown. And if they find out that the market is saying you can't trust the paper, that would be very bad. So they have to do everything they can to destroy the gold. As for the U.S. economy, he says that things will only continue getting worse. I don't believe in the double dip. I believe we have a single dip and it's been continuous. And the only reason it didn't look so bad and looked like there was some recovery was the fact that, you know, if you spend two trillion dollars and you have a 500, you know, um, billion dollar increase in some GDP figure, you got not you didn't get much for your D, for your two trillion dollars, but it might improve your statistics. So it was uh, it was a fake recovery. You can catch more of what Dr. Ron Paul has to say at the upcoming Kiko Metals e-conference. For this Kiko News exclusive, I'm Daniela Cambone.